Oh my God, I've missed YouTube so much. I've missed you guys. I've missed doing videos. Since my last video, I've come into union, of course, with the dualities of myself, because that's what the Twin Flame journey is all about. And I've had dreams confirming. It's almost like I had a dream I was being born again, or that the sun was being born through me. And the sun, by sun, I mean, you know, Jesus being a vessel of God on earth. That's what it means to be Christ. It means being an anointed one, a vessel of God on earth. Horus, Jesus, Buddha, these are spiritual figures of people being vessels of God on earth, heaven on earth. We are channels of information from the spirit room. And anyway, in my journey, I became whole. So that's what's happened since my last video. And that's why I was going through so much. I didn't understand. Computer's messing up again. Still having the same issues. <laughs> But anyway, I didn't understand why I was going through so much warfare, but I was definitely in turmoil, and it was because I was nearing the completion of my spiritual journey. So I'm just coming forth with a message today for the Twin Flame community. Um, hopefully you guys have evolved um, as well, knowing that this journey is more so about you becoming one with yourself instead of being a chaser or a winner or running, you know, running after someone who needs to be released. So... And they'll come back when it's time. Destiny, is, if it's destined, what's meant to be will be. You don't have to chase after it. So I hope you guys aren't being chased out there. So Spirit, what message do you have for the Twin Flame community? Um, I'm excited to be back. Really excited. I've been doing uh, readings on my social media pages. I offer free readings and pay readings. You know, I do one question free readings on my social media pages, so I've been busy with that. But I'm excited to be back. Ooh, interesting. So we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. Right under there, we have judgment. Right under there, we have eight of swords. So we've been through the energy of being tied up. And then the judgment frees you. It liberates you from being tied up. And then we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck which is triumph over obstacles. Sometimes it means war, but I'm using the shadowscape to that, so I like to stick with their definitions. Um, triumph over obstacles, achievement, victory, focused intent, and will, self-confidence, basically being unwavering and having unwavering certainty in the cause. So victory is on the horizon, and by judgment being under there, it's like, immense level of victory it, it's victory on exponential levels it's victory that surpasses physical and human understanding it's renewal it's it's release it's absolution it, it's the freshness of a new dawn uh, yeah a new start there's a new start coming and it is going to start with a victorious ending before it okay but it's coupled with the nine of wands and the four of swords so the Nine of Wands is about vigilance, keeping strength, being prepared for anything. Yeah, it's about retaining a core of power. And even more importantly, knowing that inner strength, what inner strength is. So basically, it's about having strength and being vigilant and getting across the finish line, knowing that at the end it's victory. So Spirit is giving you guys... Um, because the overall energy is judgment, renewal, you know, something being amazing, something manifesting that's very amazing and, and victory over obstacles. But in order to get there, Spirit is telling you to remain vigilant, have strength, keep going, um, garner, use that strength that you have inside of you to keep going. And then we have Four of Swords here. I love the Four of Swords because sometimes it's about rest. But it says, yes, it's also about inner strength. It says, draw from the reserve in the times to come. So it's definitely, probably, potentially, <laughs> some trying times coming um, as it pertains to, like, a mass general scale audience because this is a general reading. So generally in an environment, you know, a lot has been happening. Kobe, you know, first of all, let's talk about the energy. The energy has been crazy with technology and with um, and crashes in vehicles, which is also a part of technology. I don't know what's happening with Mercury. I know Mercury went into the sign of Aquarius, and Mercury is soon to go retrograde on the 16th. But before it's even retrograded, it has been crazy. My car radio was just going off and on one day. People have been driving like they've never driven in their life, like they just got their license. And it... <laughs> 
the crash for Kobe, it's been crashes overseas, the helicopter crash. It's just been so much. A lot of people have been crashing, getting tickets and stuff. So there is definitely something um, going on with the planet of Mercury or whoever is controlling the cars and technology and things of that sort that's been causing us um, some sort of issues that, you know, the naked eye doesn't understand that it's energetic and, and planetary and something is going wrong. But, you know, I don't know if that ties into this, but it certainly has been some obstacles so far. So it looks like we will continue to have some obstacles, but we will definitely get victory over those triumphs. We will prevail. We will be renewed. We will be restored immensely. So continue to be vigilant. Continue to be to hone into that inner strength and use that strength to overcome these last obstacles. With the nine of wands here, it reminds me like, knock me down nine times, but I get up ten. So it's ten is of course the number of completion, and one the number of new beginnings and renewal and initiative. So we're almost there as a collective. We're almost there. Keep going. Remain vigilant. Um, have inner strength. And let me see what. Angels and ancestors can add to this reading. Yeah, so spirit is just telling us, like, everything is going to be okay. Like, you will get victory. God-sized victory. Spirit-sized victory. Like, ooh, these cards are going everywhere. So I'm going to be taking all that. It's going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The chariot could also mean war. Uh, the chariot is the card for war. The chariot and the nine of wands is a, a card for strength, meaning like the president can send some people over. I've gotten this reading. I feel like there is going to be a, a, some more deployments happening, potentially a war with the nine of wands and the chariot. Um, so in the, you know, in the end, we'll win. So try to remain strong and have strength. But it's certainly some warfare going on anyway. So we have trust your talents and change in times. Feel love and comforted. Trust in five. So two things these two have in common is trust. Right under there is embrace the energy of peace. Try to remain at peace as you overcome your obstacles as whatever manifests here. Obstacles, war, inner warfare, spiritual warfare, physical war, whatever it is. As it is happening, try to trust and try and change in times and, and you're in, have your inner strength to overcome this obstacle and remain in faith. Then we have stag here. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace and majesty. When this card arises, it represents fertility and sexuality. Maybe an opportunity to explore your sexual side with your spiritual integrity supporting you on your journey. And the fact that it comes with this, stag and mother earth. Feel love and comforted. Somebody may be, you know, they may get a baby out of this situation. I mean, maybe it, that feels out the blue. But somebody may be making a baby. Overcoming the obstacle of making a baby. Stay alert as change is in the air. So this one is about being alert. Being a fox, a spirit fox. Knowing that things are changing. Things are changing. Hmm. And it overcomes the obstacle of adversity and unfair treatment. It says you, you're being presented with opportunities to reach spaces you've never encountered before. And this can make you feel on the edge. But be open to the shifts that are occurring because they really are the answers to your prayers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help. Call upon the spirit fox to help you be seen for who you are and trusting your talents in order to be the best that you can in these changing times. So in these changing times, it's your intuition. It's your feminine energy that's going to get you through. It's your trust in the divine that's going to get you through. And somebody may be making a baby. Hold on. Let me get back to that. That was kind of interesting standing your light in glory um and then mother earth is about being mothering being nurturing being loved and allowing 
um, yourself to be loved, giving love and receiving love. Allow yourself to be cherished. Mother Earth is protecting you with a shield of love and light. So a lot going on in this reading. As you overcome these obstacles, you are presented with the opportunity to stand in your light, to receive love, to give love and receive love, uh, to thrive. As long as you're in your light and your glory and you're trusting in your talents during these hard changing times. So it's like if it's a recession or whatever. It's like you trusting in your talents to create abundance in your life. Like whatever it is that you do. Overcoming this obstacle, overcoming warfare by trusting in your inner strength, trusting in your feminine energy and, and, and using your masculine energy matched with your feminine energy to overcome these obstacles. Yeah, because spirit is supporting you. Mother Earth is supporting you. But I can't help to think that for some of you, this is pregnancy. It ain't for me. <laughs> that pregnancy is not for me. But for some of you, it could be present pregnancy. But it could also be creating a project, creating an idea, creating something and bringing it into fruition. So for February 3rd, the overall message is overcome obstacles, remain vigilant, stay in, stay in, I'm scared me, stay in faith and remain vigilant as these changes are occurring, as things that have tried to hold you back will not hold you back, you'll get victory, just remain um, faithful and keep going, so anyway guys, really happy to be back doing Swift Flame readings. I'm going to be back doing my dailies because Spirit of the Lord has me working harder, 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 harder. If you have a one question reading, comment your name and your one question and it will be a public video. I'm going to upload it on YouTube and be on the lookout for it. Uh, if I can comment the link on your question, I will. So be on the lookout for the answer as well. So anyway, guys, thank you for sticking with me. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you peace. I wish you more life, union, and, and, and union. Okay? Motive B. It is done.